What is going on, beautiful people? I'm here at Mike's Gym Marbella, and this is effectively one of the coolest kind of training establishments I've ever been to, actually. Uh, I came here about two and a half years ago for an OCR run, which is effectively the main kind of part of this facility. They've got gyms, they've got combat zones, they've got everything. They've got a pool, all kind of like up on a high level. But the main thing is effectively, this is an OCR that's just been chiseled into the side of this flipping mountain. So I'll kind of show you this now. This is day one of five. Uh, I've actually already done a little bit of a tour of some of the some of the obstacles, kind of part of the event, but the reason I was unable to take you with me is that it was kind of like last minute, we turned that from an induction to a flipping baptism of fire and they're like, no, you're doing a bit of the course. I was like, oh, okay, I can't really strap my Sony to my head. But this is one kind of section and one of the things I just love about kind of the Mike's Gym approach is it's uh, a super rugged OCR as most of them are because effectively it's just like just cut into the side of a hill here just basically between Marbella and Malaga um, but a lot of the obstacles are heavy so there's like strongman style work so the sled pushes pulls there's rope climbs there's flipping atlas stones there's tire flips like it's literally as you can kind of tell here it's just an absolute strongman's paradise there's a uh, some weird looking fucking Spanish dogs there are they um, it's like a strong man's paradise and kind of lifting paradise but in an OCR form so you get you get to run in the hills you get to do some sprints you probably fall in the water a little bit you do loads of strong man stuff it's out in the sun you're getting some flipping vitamin D it's just absolutely perfect so I've already done as I said my kind of my little intro to some of the events uh, I've just had dinner gonna chill out for about 15 minutes probably roll out <laughs> after I just kind of got here, got out of the car and then went straight into it. And then we are doing a kind of a technical grip session in about 15, 20 minutes. So let's see how we get on with that. Here than I expected. This so called conditioning session is starting to flip and wipe me out. But the coach is awesome, the other guys are awesome. And because I know how unbelievably crap I am with eccentric load, doing this kind of stuff a couple of days before I know that I'm racing, even though I'm not an OCR runner at all, I'm competitive. Everything. Spicy, spicy.
your body. You need to be able to swing there. Exactly. That's the way you want to be. Keep up. That's it. Let's go. A little bit more swing now. Try to bring your feet up in the air here. Up, up. So you touch it. There you go. Now go. just done about three or four sections of technical grip stuff but flipping neck man you realize that even if you're a bit of a gym bunny and your grip is strong a lot of the time it's endurance is just gonna get fried so regardless of kind of the power output of your forearms they're gonna be absolutely battered within about half an hour and just doing certain like shoulder exercises some of my stabilizers now I realize that I work in a very flipping linear way and some of these like slight rotations and stuff it's killing me man Come on, Jim. Come on. All right, so we have the pool rig. Uh, obviously, if you don't want to fall in today, you can just uh, have a go tomorrow when it's more sunny again. These are climbing grips. Some of them are very odd. Some of them are very easy. Uh, it's the odd ones that we catch you off guard, okay? So when you get there, I suggest you uh, go up a little bit, get a better grip, and uh, then try to go for the next one, because the next one after is always going to be a little bit easier. Uh, so what you do, you start, you can walk out, I usually walk out until the yellow one and go from there, okay? Now most people go side to side, so they go pedaling a little bit side to side. Uh, me, myself, I just like to get done with it. You can do two at a time as well. into this half, okay? From the half, you go down. Uh, you have to go down here. If you fall down, you still have to do the half suicide run. So you go across it, come down and this. If you fall down here, don't mess this part up, okay? Grab the ring, it's better. This one, secure yourself on the ring. It's much, much better. That's a suicide. Got it. Yes. Yes. Come on. The cheeky one, that one. The green one. No, 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 not the top. That's the music button. Come on, you got it. Yes, you're almost there. Don't give up, don't give up. Come on. Yes, be careful, be careful. Get the, get the ring. That's it. Now you yeah, yeah. Well done. Come on. Two on. Two on. Do you feel that? The pain, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel. Yes. Yes, let's go. God damn, hey, man. Damn, damn, damn. This is awesome. Yes, you got it, you got it. No, 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 no. Continue. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! We got a splasher. How you feeling, mate? 
Happy with that. I'll get there. Very well done. What? Cheers, Jim. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes day one on the course with a spicy little bit of grip training. I love that we like specifically asked if it was a bee sting or if it was like technical stuff and they're like, oh, it's just technical stuff. It wasn't, it was like horrendous. Ascending like three rep, like there were ropes, there were uh, rope grip tests, there were rope climbs, there was like monkey jumps, fucking rings, ascending three rep max. Uh, pull-ups followed by one rep max that I kind of got at 50. I don't know whether or not I count that myself, I'll let you guys be the judge. But it's quality man, like it's quite a small group because obviously it's a bit earlier in the year, it's like March still. But Mike actually said when, uh, when I checked in, he was basically like, some of the smaller groups sometimes are kind of like the best vibe because you just feel like you've got this unbelievably massive playground kind of all to yourself and you are, we do kind of feel like that so there's there's us three there's three on this uh, on this specific kind of five day period there's another couple of groups that are also here i think they another english group they have about 11 they leave tomorrow morning um which will be friday and then we've basically got until we've got the whole of friday whole of saturday whole of sunday to ourselves um but the big thing is like you obviously had training today training tomorrow training saturday and then Sunday morning, we basically do one kind of timed lap. Uh, so I'm intrigued to see how that goes. I just think it's going to be absolutely brutal. Uh, but day one in the bag, loved it. Yes, Jim. Three. Okay. okay. Always, always keep the grip in the hands. This yeah. is what's going to save you if you fall. Okay. Okay, you walk separately. Let's find out. Right, so I will walk. Uh, yeah, that, that's the way to do it. And then go far with your hands. Come in with your legs. So did you feel that? You have to have them sideways. Put them there. Exactly. There we go. I know. That's why you want to throw your hands and then walk in. Exactly. Where'd he go? Where's he gone? Look! That's the one. That's it, let's go. Perfect. Exactly, perfect there. Amazing. Go for it, go for it, don't wait. And now just fast, fast hand. Fast hand down, don't wait for it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Touch the other side. Well done. Yes, <laughs> good work. Very good. Give us a thumbs up, Jim. It's the art for all Amazing, good work. Dick! Yes! Yes! Come on! Beautiful. Come on, Jim! Don't fuck about me, sir. Come on, do like you mean it. Yes, fam! That's one! Absolutely beautiful. And there you could have gate watered, but next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, next time. <laughs> next good time. Good work. Look at the more space. So you want to be here, right? Okay. Coming in, leaning into your neck. Yeah. From here. Putting your leg in, 
like that. Yeah. Now, instead of going on the outside, you're yeah. going in. Inside. In no, with the elbow, you straight away. Then, yeah, you pull yourself up. Put the elbow the there, and then you lean yeah. back to the next. Do you see that, Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going in. Okay. Should I let them go for a bit? No. Absolutely smash it. Let's go. <laughs> Go on the red line, it's much easier. Go on the red line? Yeah, on the red line. Keep to the side. 100% easier. Boom, and that is day two done. So after yesterday's kind of initial beasting and then a bit of technical grip stuff, we went over some of the more kind of technical stuff again today. And that was actually really, really good fun. Uh, there's something called the weave and basically the kind of the objective here you have to go kind of over under over under and it's just absolutely flipping nails the bruises that you get and it just seems to take so long and it's it's a massive kind of separator for the people who are really good at that they can just like shave off minutes whereas if you're not a it's going to take longer and b you're just going to completely flip in empty your gas tank but we actually had a stretch and mobility kind of session for an hour this morning then breakfast then we came out and did this and that's been about just shy of 90 minutes now it's half 10 in the morning, go back, another cup of coffee, obviously, rest up, and then time for the beach. How are you feeling, boys? Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Feeling pretty really good today, Jim. Good, 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 good. How's the grip? Oh, how long that? <laughs> there we go, zoom in. Oh, spicy. fantastic. Yes, what is going on team? So it is day two, we are nearly done. Uh, it's been a much more chilled out day. We had a, an hour of mobility stuff this morning. <clears throat> we had our kind of technical session, which you've already seen, um, which was good actually, really kind of in, upon reflection, a lot of the stuff. I think especially when you're probably a male athlete where you're more innovated upper body, it's super easy on shit like this to just flip in muscle your way through. So it's nice to kind of go over some technical stuff because it's all good and well to kind of smash it out in 40 seconds and then think think you're awesome, but on something that takes up to about two hours, you kind of need to save as much in the tank as you can uh, and try and save that by being efficient in your movements. We then went to the beach. We had, uh, we had a little bit of a paddle boarding session. It's a bit choppy, so Mike didn't want to kind of do too much crazy stuff with us when we are out there, so we basically stayed seated. We went out about K though, and then turned around literally like straight out, so the shore was here not along, literally just away from the sh uh, from the shoreline by about a kilometre, then kind of turned around, then came back, uh, which is a good flipping upper body and core workout, especially with your feet on there, man. My flipping hip flexors were killing, actually. Uh, and then we had a coffee, and it was really, really cool. Came back, we've had a nice kind of chilled out afternoon, which is good, actually. Like, it's nice to have some downtime in something where a lot of the activities are really intense. I don't want to be, like, crazy hectic. We think about going on a hike, uh, a couple of logistical things, we ended up not doing that and that's kind of worked out really well. We've now got about five, 10 minutes and then we are gonna do a conditioning session, which will be a nice short burst. I'm happy to basically smash my musculature and smash my cardio this evening. I'm kind of feeling a little bit tired, so I probably need that bit of injection of energy, but I'm gonna save my hands and my like basically my grip and my forearms as much as I can, because it's Friday night, we do kind of our timed lap on Sunday. And again, like I'm not really competing against anyone, but Mike's given me a, a target time for me. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of average to quick for his instructors. So I have no idea why he's given me that, but we'll see how I get on. So I need to kind of save my hands as much as possible. Bit of a conditioning session now. Let's see what they have in store for us.
This right now is the calm before the storm. The calm before the storm. Calm before the storm. Craig, how's your body feeling, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Eamon, how's your body feeling? I'm ready to go, Jim, don't ready? worry. Yeah, 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 you fucking look it, pal. Ready to, ready to go to bed. <laughs> Coach Mike, what have you got in store for us this morning, mate? Uh, just a bit of a technical session in the combat zone, trying to help you lot out, save your forearm strength and your grip strength so you can uh, actually complete this whole course. So, yeah. This whole bit, bit of madness. Bit, bit of a tech talk. So tech talk to make us basically as efficient as possible. Efficient as possible. <laughs> so exactly. these aren't basically going to be these flaccid Hanging little off. fucking stumps by the end of it. <laughs> yeah, grip for me definitely is the thing. Like that's what I'm at the moment kind of concerned about or aware about. Aware about. A aware of definitely. It's like it's even after Thursday session, just my flipping knuckles and everything. Kind of the calluses are starting to come out already. So efficiency is good. We have to find a way to we make that not as much of an issue. Efficiency, efficiency, let's get cracking. We can do this shit. Hands on the pegs, feet off the floor before you start. Feet up higher if you can. That's it. Get the peg in. A little functional warm up for the boys. First part of the uh, combat zone. Nice and light on them feet, let's go. So both hands on the bar, both feet take off, both feet land, five reps. Five in total, not five each side. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Good old fashioned Rocky Balboa, let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully if you've got a new set of fucking railings. Good work, mate. Right, so on the box, what number it says on the box is the amount of reps that you do. So you can choose five, six, eight, ten, or twelve. Oh, look at that, that is beautiful. Perfect, beautiful, mate. Okay, so one hand over. This is the bit where you mustn't rush. I'm not brilliant at this part. This is a sketchy bit. Arm, arm. <laughs> Legs, look, here. Look, upside down, no fucking problem. <laughs> hand both, slowly. From here, we jump, hips, look at my arm, look how long they are, look, look, levers, that's all they are, levers. Rumour has it, if you fuck up on the Atlas Stones, you are breakfast for these guys. <laughs> How are you going to put it out, Eamon? That's the weirdest birthday cake I've ever seen. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> yeah. That's special. Uh, I've seen strong attempt. Dancing. Strong yeah. attempt. It's still got oxygen, mate. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Burger doesn't want to quit. <laughs> there we go. You can see the smoke. It's gone out. I think it's more likely to do like a pedalo, mate. Right, so one of these boaters, including the Mike's Gym Experience, just for your information. <laughs> uh, this one, that one, you choose. That has not been included <laughs> in my fucking Mike's Gym Experience, I'll tell you that straight away. <laughs> No heroes in the top section. Don't fuck them out. Don't fuck them out. Three, two, one. Don't fuck them out. Let's go. Good luck now, boys. Come on.
have it. Beautiful, mate. He just the last one. He... Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Come on. That's the one. Look at that. Now we're starting to get somewhere. <laughs> That's the two hands on each and every. I was just like that. That's perfect, mate. Yes! Hold it, hold your grip. Hold your grip. That's the gym. Oh my fucking god, man. This is genuinely punishing. Like, I'm just completely speechless. You think you're fairly well conditioned, but just the level of volume of like grip work doesn't matter if I can do a 50 kilo strict pull up. Just like four days in the bounce of it. First pull event today. Already in the bin. You can just feel it going. There's nothing left in the tank. Good pull. You feel about that one. Let's go. Woo! That's a good fucking take that. Feeling. Yeah, perfect. That's the one. And now, and now, ring to reverse. Right. That's the one, Jim. Come on. Ah. That's the one. Keep going, keep going. Come on. 
it works. Swim all the way over. Grab the rings if you can, the one ring there. Yep. And put it up, please. Yeah, thanks. Yes! Work, brother. Fucking smashing it to bits. Yes. Come on, fam. Where now? Back up. Back up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Last bit now. Come on. Two grip, more rigs, and then that's it. Yes, yes, two hands, two hands on the top hole. So right hand on your left hand. Come on. That's it. And now you reach for the bar. It's easy. With your right arm. Right arm. Come on. That's it. That's the one. Let's go, brother. Don't give up now. Come on. Give it your fucking all, okay? Fucking give it your best. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Two hands. Good work. Good work. Take it easy so you don't slip, okay? Good work, brother. You're doing absolutely amazing. That is absolutely beautiful, bro. Come on, big bro. Last thing you do today. Let me my hands. Okay. Not sure where you went. Went inside. Oh, he's coming back out. Yeah, but we're waiting for a power nap. The last thing on the course, flying monkey, let's go. <laughs> Fuck. If you're going to the dry my hands, I'll take this off. Because this is wet, my tape is wet. It's going for another power nap, I think. I know, look, mate. look, 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 he's going in. Don't know where it was doing there. Must have some secret, secret, you know, some. Yeah, I'm hungry, man. Thanks for <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking hell. You can't you get, keep coming up here and not, <laughs> not doing it. Right, let's go! Last thing on the obstacle course, fly monkey, let's fucking go! Yes, fam. Jump for it, jump for it, jump! Yes! That's one. Go, 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 go! Good, 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 good. Try to do the flying, 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 flying. Come on. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing, brother. It's still. A few. Yeah, it's half, Take half a suicide. Green on a Sunday afternoon. Woo! So you can now into the starting, into the starting point. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah! 157.22 seconds! Yes! Woo, woo, woo! I'm feeling all the more happy that you have supported me through this entire journey. Are you happy with my result? I'm absolutely, <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Thank you. I've never seen one go in the first time just go smashing like that. It's absolutely beautiful, brother. Thank you, man. My big bro, you know that? Woo! It's absolutely beautiful. You, that was absolutely brutal. What's your time on this, Luke? Uh, Coach Luke? 1.20. <laughs> Makes me feel like a prick, doesn't it? <laughs> Luke, thank you so much, buddy. Hey, you've been absolutely amazing. Now we're family, you know? Now we're family. Yeah, absolute obstacle And I'm staying for another week as well. That's beautiful. So we're even closer. Gotta celebrate, brother. Gotta celebrate. That was fucking brutal. The aerobic bit. I'm actually really kind of happy with how that felt throughout the running-wise. It's just the difference between when I did this two and a half years ago, excuse me, and, and today, it's just all the other stuff, all the other kind of paraphernalia that I've done over the last kind of couple of days. And it's just flipping written me off. Like, all the grip stuff, you get to like the first obstacle and I'm already absolutely battered. Uh, I didn't go over the rope beam so I just ended up doing three rope climbs, but three rope climbs were kind of okay and didn't really take it out, that much out of me. I got kind of, as you probably saw in the B-roll for this, I got on top of the beam. That was one of my objectives today was to get over it and I didn't do that. But I just had nothing fucking left and I think it would have taken me so long 
it's going to negotiate and I was like, I can rope climb pretty quick. So for I'm me, so sad I didn't get the part where you were like smashing the thing and like, fuck! Yeah, I know, I did I'll lose it a little bit. I was camera, fucking bro. threaders, man. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was kind of the first objective and the second objective was to see how I got on with the flying monkey. But, and I did a couple of them. I got over halfway, but just in the last few, it kind of bailed, but I only had to do half a lap as kind of the forfeit for not getting the whole way. So luckily it didn't push me back too much. But uh, yeah, man, it's just a bit, it's just absolutely savage, just the grip work. Jesus Christ, it's like, I encourage anyone that thinks they can smash this straight off the bat to come along and give it a go. It's not for the faint of hearted, is it, bro? No. 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 Perfect, thank you, man. My, my first, I think, First time you come here, I think you should be well happy with under three hours uh, on your first time because it's just so intense. There's, if you're a good runner, this I'm, I'm sad for you. There's not so much running here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that's the thing. This isn't for if if you are an OCR runner and like you're like a 65 kilo little racing snake. This isn't going to be yeah, your no. event because there's not that much running. It's just constant obstacles, yeah. just flipping over and over and over again. Yeah. But it was good, man. I'm happy with how the first bit went, the top section, and then the kind of the ninja bit. I think I got to the combat zone at an appropriate time, but it was just, I think grip endurance is very different from grip strength. Yeah. And I've is. got the grip strength, but I just don't have the endurance. So that's really kind of, that's been something to work on, especially by the end. Uh, that was just, you know, that, that the single arm stuff really knackered me. But compared to when we did our training session, so me and Luke did a session uh, a couple of days ago, a lot more of it now, I'm keeping straight arms and trying to swing and kind of just using the shoulder girdle. So it's a lot more efficient. It's just, it's just the forearms and the tendonitis yeah. just goes. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's, it's again, like anything, it's susceptible to training. So the more volume you do for it, it's all going to be gravy. But we've got two more boys in the course. We'll see how they're getting on. Where do you think they are right now, Luke? Uh, combat zone, for sure. They are in the combat zone. Let's see how they're getting on. Post lap, we're going on a little hike. How far is the hike, Mike? Um, it's only, what is it, about six, 8k. 8k. 8k up and 8k down? No, no, in no. total. Yeah, it's not Total far, is what I wanted. See how we're going with this? It'd be nice to um, kind of stretch our legs a little bit. So nice kind of not too chilled terrain. Low intensity, get some blood pumping. I'm extremely tired now. Let's see if this gives me a little bit of a second win for life. About 200 meters straight up. 200 meters straight up? Yeah. Look at this gradient, it's a strong three hours. Let's go. Mike, how you feeling? Fucking marvellous. Fucking marvellous. Alive! What did we not just do? Fuck, Fuck about. about! View from the top doesn't do it justice. And here we go. What was that total from the car? 45 minutes? 50 minutes? 45 now, right now. 45 right now. PB for Mike, he said. Absolutely. There we go, there we go. Luke, do you enjoy it? I love it. The, the only bad thing about this for Luke is that he basically just bounded up the fucking no, mountain and had to wait for, <laughs> wait for us for about another hour. Got his sleeping bag out. Oh but yeah, this is, this is stunning, man. I mean, like, again, it's actually not too dissimilar from kind of the natural countryside in the UK in terms of topographically but it just uh, feels a bit different it's a little bit drier for a start and as you'd probably expect as this is always the thing that's said that view is pretty fucking spectacular but the camera ain't gonna do it justice but super intense lap earlier that was kind of the main highlight and the main kind of objective of the week in fact we're coming up here perfectly put into the timetable just kind of flush the legs out Nice little bit of zen, spot on. And as if by magic, it is all wrapped up and done. The Mike's Gym experience here in Mike's Gym Marbella has been wicked. Like, accommodations cool, the gym is just like so cool. The course, so the kind of the lap itself, the OCR course is 
is literally just the world's biggest flipping playground. And you see both kind of the local members uh, that use it and everyone that kind of comes here for the experience. It's just, you do start looking at this stuff, by this stuff, I just kind of mean training in general, through the lens of a little bit more playfulness than, than I have in a long time actually, and kind of moving away from uh, kind of barbells and dumbbells and into this kind of stuff, it really has been quite refreshing. There was still a little part of my like, my chimp teenage boy mind that was like, yeah, but I've still got to do something that's make, gonna make sure that I don't lose weight uh, and don't kind of lose lose my gains. And that's not gonna happen when you're flipping, tossing out the stones around, you're still gonna maintain some muscle doing that. But it, you do just, you like for me, I'm looking at the way that these people are training here and it is just, it is so nice to see. It's like everyone's just, kind of accepts the fact that they're just a big kid here, <laughs> but they love it at the same time. Uh, I love it so much here that I'm I'm still in Spain for the next kind of nine, 10 days. I was gonna head over to Marbella and stay there and I've actually decided to just stay here in this particular bit of accommodation because it's just so flipping easy. It's like 30 minutes walk to the town. I've got the gym, I've got the pool literally like three meters out my door. Um, I've got what's called Ninja Alley just outside here that's effectively kind of the the accommodations on the on the verge of that 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 little bit of land it's just it's it's flipping perfect cannot recommend this enough whether or not you're uh kind of a coach a trainer a pt and you've got your own fitness community and you want to like and you want to run a retreat somewhere everything here is literally flipping airport to airport to do with the food to do with the travel to do with everything or whether or not you're um just an individual who wants to kind of come along give ocrs a little bit of a go one million percent this is where you need to do it because it is just i i just cannot speak highly enough of this whole place and the experience mike obviously running the show nikki dealing with the admin and the two coaches that you've probably seen christian and luke absolutely spot on get yourself booked in get it done and for the rest of your cheeky monkeys stay strong stay healthy stay awesome and i'll see you soon